Snowballing is a common problem that Smash Ultimate players run into. It's a pretty suffocating feeling that you feel like you can't do anything and none of your buttons are working or that they're just reading you super, super hard. But I think I have a few answers on how you can deal with snowballing or prevent it before it gets too drastic. So what do you think of when I say snowballing? It's like situations where like, the beginning of the match may not start that bad, but as soon as like, post start would go away, it feels like every option is like, getting destroyed by like, the opponent. Especially like, upper half PR people. Like, upper half PR people. Yeah. Cause it's like, it feels like I have to like, watch my options because I'm trying to get the kill on everything. But then they just know everything, and then I'm getting playing disadvantage, trying to get back into it, and they already have it covered. And... So I think when it comes to fighting PR players, they're obviously very good in their advantage state, pretty strong, and understanding what their character can do versus yours. And you mean Fox, so you know, very light character, very easy to uh, explode at 50% if you do something wrong. But I think there are certain disadvantage things that can avoid a snowball to happen. Certain deterrents, for example. Um, I think Fox especially has to be very careful with it, but every character in the game has deterrents. I think it's like, it's like how Samus can use Morph Ball to get out disadvantage with Down B, just trying to do a hesitation, do a jump and wait for it. Certain things that you really don't want to do and things that you really do want to do per character really, really matter. And I think it's good to focus on those things. So, when you see that you're getting snowballed, what's the thing going through your head? It's like, I need to hold it up and get, get back in the game. I need to, like... So I'm not trying to, like, match the speed and stuff, when even if, like, situations I probably don't have to, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because I'm beginning, like... For example, like, fighting, like, Mobbit. Like, he'd yeah. be going cloud and everything, and it's like... I feel like I have to keep up with the speed and then try to get the perfect edge goal just to get back into even. Well, it's like... It's obvious I'm going for that, I'm already down. Yeah. He gets back on ledge, I'm on the like he gets back ledge trapping, I'm trying to get off from ledge, and then I just get in the cross slash and up yeah. smash up. So I think have you ever heard about when someone tells you about ledge trapping, it doesn't matter what option you choose, just that you choose a different timing. Yeah. I think this matters in every state of the game. Trying to keep back the pace of someone faster than you, sure that seems pretty simple, it makes sense, but I think it's better that you mix up the timing of like it like nothing messes up someone than when they're pressing very very fast and you're going slow as hell and then you move fast again then you move slow as hell um especially against like cloud he'll be looking for like up the other shit yeah because they're waiting for options whenever someone gets you in disadvantage they're waiting for an option to react to a lot of great players do that um and your pace of just like waiting a little bit or doing nothing for a little bit and then doing something can make such a big difference. I think if you pay close attention to that, you'll see that you'll get hit less, you'll get comboed less, strings will happen, juggles will be different because a lot of the time, most Smash players just wait, and especially in juggles. So I think there's something to just keep in mind when it comes to getting snowballed. The thing is, you just gotta stop the snowball. You have to stop the thing from keep going. It's not just you need to reversal them, you need to just catch on to what their intent is, and then the response doesn't have to be immediate option, immediate option. It can just be wait a little bit, see what happens, and you'll probably be surprised how much you'll get out of disadvantage just doing nothing. Mm -hmm. What do you think are the most common moments that you get your own snowball? Best times is usually when like, it hasn't been like, probably when I'll get like, a falling back door or something as Fox, mm -hmm. and then like, cause it just said, cause Fox is broken. Like he's right. like, I feel like he has one of the easier like snowballing effects. Mostly. Yeah, mostly because of his vortex. Yeah, so it's mostly like just going. Like I would try to get like back was the main one, cause at zero you close to get that and dash attack, and then the situation right after that, and you got you know it just like goes all over. Or like trying to get like grabs and trying to set up tech use. In juggle situations, probably like the main thing I try to do. Yeah. But it'd be really hard doing it against like really good people, obviously. Yeah, and that's mostly like you, you know, you have your combo starters, you have your strings to start. Um, and Fox is one of the easier ones, but it's just like 
you can do the same thing where you can wait or you can wait for the option to happen or and you can just position yourself correctly because I think positioning is the true key of a great snowball. You yeah. position yourself ready to react to anything that happens where you're like in your mind, if they mash a button here, it doesn't matter which button they mash, you can punish them really hard. Yeah. I think if you really want to control not getting snowballed and snowballing, it's looking into the intent of your opponent both in an offense and defense, uh, and giving yourself the information, because there's a lot of characters in the game, but you have to learn how they can extend their combos. You don't need to be air dodging when Peach does up throw, because you can't be able to get anything, anything like that. Um, you have to be very aware of what their advantage state's like and how they play. And I think if you do that, then getting slow balled will be way harder against you.